Hi everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to another video here on Ria Sea Watch. We're joined today by a very special guest, Santi, also known Hello. on YouTube as Snow Cold. <laughs> Hi Santi, yes. to discuss some Hola. of these top songs that will be on Benidorm Fest to determine Spain's entry for Eurovision 2022. So thank you so much for being here, Santi. You're welcome. I thought you need yeah. someone from Spain, specifically from Galicia. Yes. España. It's very, it's very much so. appreciated, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Well, I guess we can get right to it. So the first song, yes, and let's I'm go. gonna butcher this. I'm gonna let you say it, Santi. <laughs> it... Secreto, de, <laughs> Secreto de Agua by Blanca Paloma. Yes. Uh huh. Which oh. Secreto? Like my my very rudimentary yeah. Spanish says Secret of Water is the title. In uh, kind of, yeah, like the water secret. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that sounds yes. great. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's hit play. I have also also oh, I I have heard these before, but these two haven't. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's yes. Really oh. So Sam and I are reacting first time. Yes, yeah. exactly. Never heard Spanish before. <laughs> okay, so I'm kidding. If there's rain, which makes sense if we're going with like a water theme, it's someone's like whoa. Really this is stolen from Duncan Lawrence. <laughs> Invented. Of course, the Dutch Dutchie would say that. Ooh. Okay, you can feel like there's gonna be some sort of drop, or it's gonna. She's gonna like start singing a soaring high note or something. What are the lines in the water? No. Like where the reflection is just shifted. I don't know, maybe that's going to feature in the song. But this is very, I don't know, it seems really mysterious. You know, like it's, it's building towards something, I think. Oh yeah, see it's building, it's building. Definitely. I like this kind of subtle instrumental in the background. Oh, little hand motion. It's not serious though. Mm hmm. I do like her voice, it's very emotive. She is very good live. She sang a small part of this at a press conference, and she's very good. Oh yeah? Even better. Yeah. I do wonder what mm -hmm. the water secret is. Yeah, does she cover that in the lyrics at all? It's, the lyrics are very, like, abstract. The chorus okay. goes, like, nobody can stop it or hold it back. Like, mm -hmm. his or her song. And it's... I mean, water is kind of destructive. Yeah, but also life-giving. Whoa. Yeah, see, the duality of water. Mm -hmm. As someone from the Netherlands, you would know. Well, I have never drowned before, but yeah, I know I, that I, it's I'm not fun. Glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, this was interesting. Yeah, very. I don't know if understated is the right word. But, like, I feel like this is one where it, it's not super flashy, but that's fine. Like that's not a bad thing. It's yeah, definitely subtle. A lot of subtle. I guess a little things. bit artsy. Artsy, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Like this would do great with juries, I think, especially if her voice is as good as it is in the video. Yeah. Um, yeah. About this song personally, like I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I like I think it's really nice, you know, in headphones at night, you know. I'm just yeah. less okay. sure about on a big stage. But I mean. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen this live. 
Right. Like, is there a running order that they know already? No. Or? As, as far as I know, no, there is no running order. Okay. Okay. Because I think, like, <laughs> if it's a little bit unfortunate, it might just disappear. There's no like gotcha moment. Yeah, but it is. It is pretty. A very pretty song for sure. Mm -hmm. A lot of other songs yeah. are, are more upbeat. I think you'll see that with the next one. Yeah. Okay, let's take a listen. Culpa. So does this mean guilty? Culpa uh, means guilt. So you're you're yes, wrong. Okay. Javier Amena is oh, actually yeah. a singer from Chile. She's yeah, oh. she's pretty famous, um, I wonder, and I've actually like, known her for a few Chinese, years. Is it Chinese, like, under there? Uh, you, oh, you like mean the Chinese like, Oh, they are. Yeah, yes, looks, yes. Yeah, yeah, right. That's <laughs> random. Yeah, but that that's kind of what you have to expect from Javier Amena. Like, her music is okay. gets okay. very experimental at times. Oh, okay. And chaotic. Okay. Let's see like, if this is also chaotic. experimental. Yeah. I think you'll like it. <laughs> All right. Mm, so interesting. Let's, let's find out. <laughs> Oh, there's lyrics. Oh, okay. Kind of nice. This looks nice. Yeah, falling petals. I like the beat already. It's a really pretty effect. She has going to with the falling petals. Oh. What is this face thing? I don't okay, know. It's a filter. It's a filter. <laughs> it's a filter. Wait, just roll with it. see the experimental? Yeah. Yes. Like, even the sound is quite... Yeah. And she's trying a lot with it, which... It's working so far, I think. Like, I actually like this. Along with this. Yeah, like, swinging to the beat. <laughs> I mean, I'm a fan of hers, so obviously I really like this as well. I uh, didn't know her before. Same. <laughs> I have the auto translate on for the for the captions. Oh, yeah. Maybe they do have some. <laughs> well, it's um, it's Portuguese. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Good. That's kind of funny because it auto translate translate to English and sometimes it just says wait music. Yeah, I'm bopping my head to this. It's Me too. Yeah. Like I could see this on the stage, like the crowd would love this. It's one of the songs where you really get people going. Do you want I wonder to how big they, they will make this. Oh, what the heck? She's Wait, a vampire. She's Lucifer. An like organ... Like, I don't know, church choir <laughs> song. Oh, but it's a, a song choir dance. dance song. Yes, a dance song. <laughs> that was yeah, an that... interesting transition. I actually really like this. <laughs> Does she have a whip? <laughs> I think it's this her hand. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. No! <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> that is um, a little bit of a choice. Yeah, they can do a lot of this on the stage. Especially with all the transitions. Okay, she has oh. the wings now in the background. Okay. Yeah. Can she be a fallen angel by any chance? Yeah, you just watch Tick's feature in the song or something. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> please no. That okay. Sounds... I don't know how well the two would mix, honestly. Let's pause this. <laughs> okay, he's pausing that. Um... I feel like it wouldn't mix all that well. Okay. 
I like that. I like, I like that a lot. Yes, me too. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear your thoughts about it. I think yeah. it has some really interesting and weird mix-ups. Like, mm -hmm. just at, at some points in the song, it just decides to become a different genre. Yeah. Like, because why not? Which I, I honestly really like that, and I, I completely see what you mean by experimental. Um, yeah, she's just. I don't know, she's defying any conventions, and I think that's pretty cool. Like, she's just doing her own thing, and I I respect that a lot. I felt at yeah. some points I heard some, like, uh, sounds or instruments that I don't think are very common. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like the organ. Yeah, very interesting. Huge one. Yeah. Yes, for example. <laughs> yeah, like, like, this is why, like, because, like, have you ever heard, like, electronic organ? No, I can't no. say I have. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the kind of stuff she does. That's the kind of stuff she got known for. Yeah. And yeah, I this song is also very much a grower. Like when mm -hmm. I heard it for the first time, I liked it, but yeah. I, it was kind of under my expectations. And then like the next few listens, the next few days, like it really got into my head. Mm -hmm. So I definitely say uh, to people who maybe aren't really convinced by this one, mm -hmm. like give it a bit of time. I know, okay. like, for, for mm. your vision, for whatever, it's on the stage, one night, whatever. Yeah, I'm just saying for your personal enjoyment. Yeah, and I really so like what it. Does so, the, what yeah. does the title mean? Uh, so, Culpa means guilt. And, uh, well, the lyrics are also kind of abstract. It's like... Um, like... I, I, okay, it's <laughs> it's hard to like explain in my head. Like the chorus, yeah, lejos yeah. de bien, lejos del mal, it just means like far away from the good, far away from the bad. And she's like, okay. let's free ourselves from this guilt. And I guess, mm -hmm. um, and, and that's, I guess, why she's also like dressed up as a demon sometimes in the video. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder but then if there's she like a subtle an sort of element of religiosity and like. You know, Catholic guilt is a calm is a term that's used sometimes. And I I'm gonna to guess. On that. Yeah. I'm gonna guess it's something about freeing yourself from like uh, people who are trying to bring you down and make you feel guilty. And another thing oh, no. that I just thought of that could be the meaning. So this song uh, came out like just recently. Chile legalized same-sex marriage. Oh. And Javier Amena yeah. is lesbian herself, and an okay. outspoken activist for LGBT rights oh. in general. So Wait, I'm wondering, is, is, she, is she from Chile? Yes, she's yeah. Chilean. She she lives in Spain though, which is why she presented her. So, okay. For, you know. Okay. It wouldn't be the first time we have a, a Latino singer representing us. Hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm wondering if like the whole religious stuff with the organ, with the demons, with being guilty, with being far away from the good and bad. Maybe it's something about like how. Um, I don't know like. Like gay people, lesbian people, LGBT people in general just are. It's not like you don't. It, it isn't a sin. It isn't whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm. Matt could be. I mean, <laughs> I'm. Yeah, I'm doing like analysis on the spot. Could yeah, be. no, but that that is an Maybe. amazing message. For she can confirm it. Yeah. Javiera, si me estás mirando. All right. That's well, well done, Javiera. Yeah. So I guess we go to the next one now. Yes. So this is Raiden. Um, Let's see. Calle de la Lloreria. Lloreria. Which yeah, I literally... <laughs> I'm just gonna mess it <laughs> Calle de la Lloreria. And it literally means uh, the crying streets. Oh. The... Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna is explain the words later. <laughs> okay. <I'm expecting laughs> Play and listen. See. Yeah. Interesting. Well, let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has multiple. Brooding. Oh, he's at a dinner. Okay. Is he like explaining stuff to his uh, compatriots? Con el discurso de que los extremos se tocan, al de las medias tintas que busca cantar victoria, pero di que media tinta. So are the drinks poison then? Uh -oh. oh, okay, this is not the ballad I was expecting. 
You were expecting a ballad. It's just based on the title, <laughs> The Crying Street. That's kind of depressing. No, apparently it's happy. <laughs> yes. You do see like the time for a party. The burger. I wonder if that's uh, foreshadowing. Okay, I also just have to say how beautiful it is to pure Spanish. Like, it's, it's another one of those really beautiful languages. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, they want more. Okay, I'm top of your line too. <laughs> oh, but this is. Okay. They're trying to do uh, Mahmoud. Oh, yeah, I can. Definitely hear that. No, I just meant with the clapping, but. <laughs> How am I gonna choose which one I like the most? <laughs> Don't play with your food, people. Haven't they learned anything? That's true. <laughs> okay, dessert time. That is a very ornate cake, wow. Okay, so this one is poisoned then. Oh, okay, just. No plates, no forks, just uh, the straight up hands, yeah. They had enough drinks so that they don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. It's very decadent. Oh, now someone's tricked us. Okay. Where is this going? Oh. Are they dizzy or. Seems hallucinating. Yes, kind of. Uh, yes, hallucinating, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, it was space cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is this going? Oh, someone died. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So some yeah, something was poisoned. Uh oh. And he's just clapping. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy how for this whole video I've been waiting for people to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like wondering how they die. And he's so happy. Yeah, he's like, yes, I did it. Yeah, and he's just like holding his glass of oh, wine this... just casually. Okay. I'm getting far too stressed about this. <laughs> Don't die, people. Be happy. Yeah, I, I definitely see the artsiness mm. in a lot of these songs. Just like the concept seems really fascinating and a little bit provocative in a way, maybe. Like, yeah. Killing people at a dinner party. You know, not something you talk about on a Sunday morning necessarily, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I want to like hear your first impressions first, and then say okay. like all the other stuff, so I have your natural reactions. Yeah. Well, again, really like it. I. I I'm it is very catchy, I think. Yeah, I'm a sucker I like for the like clapping. good beats and clapping. Yep. Yeah, so that already captivated me. Again, I, I think I commented how beautiful the language and his voice was. So I like that. Really interesting Espanol, concept. Muy bien. Yeah. Muy bien. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> See, one thing that made me smile was that um, even if it was because of the clapping, Sam said at one point that he was kind of doing like Mamun. Mm -hmm. And yes. that, rem that reminded me because like one thing that me and then also my little sister and then a few people I've talked to and especially Italians in the comment section of this video Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people say that, that he feels more Italian than Spanish. Mm. I, oh. I guess it's like a subtle difference that, that Spaniards and Italians would notice. I think it's like the, the attitude, the, the fast lyrics, the like, the tone. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it, it's yeah. kind of like what, what we imagine of Italians, if that makes any oh, sense. okay. Mm -hmm. but, uh, definitely embodying that. Yeah, I don't know, it, it, yeah. it felt like a San Remo song, is what I saw some people mm -hmm. saying. Okay. And uh, I've only know... watched Sanremo once, but I can see that. <laughs> when we know the quality that Sanremo produces, like it yeah. is consistently incredible with their songs. So that's a very good sign. Yeah, so when I say some a song sounds Italian, like that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah. But now okay. about the lyrics. So you thought the crying street was um, was a title for a ballad, but basically one of the lines in the song, actually the, the first line of the chorus is "Go cry in the crying street." Oh. The the <laughs> okay. whole the whole lyrics of the song 
are very much like provocative like you said if i yeah. translate a few lines it's like it's he, he's like uh, he's like kind of saying like a toast to those who and then he changes every line like when mm -hmm. he says um like at some point he says to those who criticize the most but have the thinnest skin so he can't take criticism of their own to those yeah. um to those who who look at themselves so much that their heads explode mm -hmm. like narcissist uh, a line that's yeah. like to those who go back come back with a discourse that the extremes touch each other which is kind of like okay. how people say that the far left and the far right are, are the same yeah they converge which ob like, obviously yeah. they don't and i think that the music video is like kind of emulating a family dinner where people get into these sorts of dumbass arguments and then he's just done with them, so he poisons all of them. He tells them, if you're here to cry, go cry in the crying streets. And then the last oh. line of the chorus is, I already cried. Like, oh. don't come at me with your bull right now. That is, that is great. This is another yeah. one of those like liberating the songs. The lyrics like, make it I don't want to hear your politics. Even. I don't want to yeah. hear your complaints. You know, like you mentioned the dinner, and I'm thinking like North America. Thanksgiving dinner is typically known as the time when a lot of these yeah. debates come up so i can kind of transpose that to my idea of like you know screw it <laughs> i'm just i'm not gonna listen to what you have to say yeah. it's kind of At ironic isn't it to have that with thanksgiving but hey yeah that's it a, happens a with whole side of first mm -hmm. <gasps> but yeah i really like Family. this song because yeah. like uh, as as someone who gets the lyrics it's great mm -hmm. But you yeah, don't need lyrics. to get the lyrics to enjoy, like, yeah. you know, the beat, the... Exactly. What if he has a lot of charisma, he can... Like, you know... Like, Agreed. But it, yeah, it does give, like, a, another dimension to it. Yeah, the lyrics really mm -hmm. elevate this. Yeah. It makes me like it even more than I than I already do. And I think for the fourth song, lyrics are also quite important. Okay. <gasps> Let's get to that, then. Yeah. Yes. We'll see. Let's see. Hey, mama. Ay, mamá, yes. Mm -hmm. Rigoberta okay. Bandini. Yes. Let's go. What is this image? <laughs> Something religious. It looks religious for sure. Like yeah. a king, maybe? A Scepter king with wings. And the shield, yeah. Are those wings? Or maybe it's a throne. I don't know. It's but anyways, like, about the song, though. It's, it's like an angel. Like, yeah. He sounds very pensive so far. Pensive? Mm hmm, like thoughtful. Thought provoking. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm not your mama. <laughs> I almost. I don't know if I'm picking this up right, but I kind of hear some angst in this. Someone? Angst? I did. A lot of emotion, but. It's like a pleading. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Definitely a shift. Oh, I love the beat of all these songs so far. This is interesting. I'm bobbing my head to it. I'm trying to understand things, but I'm not really successful. I'll explain my I don't know. I, I still pick up on that kind of emotion. It, it's a very, it sounds very emotional, especially when she says "mama." You're right. Yeah. But what is this part then? I feel like there's probably some sort of contrast between her cries to Mama in this part. I also just like how modern the song sounds. You think it sounds modern? I don't know. I, think I kind of feel like it does. I feel like it. It, it sounds also, like, a bit old school. Throwback. Yeah. I don't know. The synth parts of it to me sound modern, but also like an You're just tricked. 
the weekend tricked you. <laughs> Sound really triumphant. But why? What did she do to her mama? <laughs> oh, is that is that the end of the song? Yep. Yeah, oh, it is. I think wow. So. Okay. 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 So oh, that's the fun. same time again. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I yeah, don't I know so. what mm -hmm. to think. I think it's very interesting, and in indeed it. It sounds like sort of a, a throwback, old school kind of song, I think. Okay. And I don't really know what the message is because I got kind of confused. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, I mean, it does sound very interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it, but the, um, the repetition part is a little bit annoying in my head. Oh. But, okay. yes. I, I like the repetition, <laughs> and I don't know, I, oh. I know I said it sounds modern, I feel like it, it is a throwback in a way, it, it sounds like a throwback, but they do it in a, in a manner that, it, you know, you know this was produced recently, like this doesn't sound straight from the 80s, <laughs> like no, that's other true. songs I'm known to like, but <laughs> I liked it, I like the repetition, you know, it, it kind of, for me, helps me enjoy the song more, and I also like how the beat of the song consistently changes. Like it starts off quite slow, and then it you go all out '80s dance party. <laughs> um, well, at the same time, you you consistently hear that mama mama, and again, there's certainly like there's emotion in that, and I'm, I'm so curious to know what it means. There's definitely like uh, progress in the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, well, I don't I don't so... think I need to explain this, but this song is dedicated to mothers. Mm -hmm. And, well, I mean, it, it, oh. it's a feminist song, but like especially for mothers. Right. Um, if I translate some of the lyrics, so I'm going to send the two of you a picture uh, on the chat, which you mm -hmm. might have seen before. It's a painting by French painter Delacroix oh. called La Vie yes, of course. Yeah, and so she mm -hmm. references that painting by saying, like, let's leave a breast hanging in the style of Delacroix like on that picture mm. and one of the later lines in the song is um okay i don't know why our breasts scare them so much without them mm. there would be no no beauty in the world and you know okay. it it ends like some of the first lines are like um to you who always has soup in the fridge for me you know it's it's um both expressing gratitude to mothers and at the same time, like, uh, and feminist in the sense of like, why the f are you afraid of? It? I don't know if I can curse on your channel, whatever. <laughs> why are you <laughs> like? What? Why? Why are you afraid of this? These are our bodies. This is nature. Like, let us, mm. you know, let us be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm, ba I'm bad. I'm bad at explaining it. this, but no, no, you get the general. No, you're doing a good job. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I have my, well, I, I like this song, and in a Spanish audience, it, it has a lot of fans. Uh, my mm -hmm. concern is that, like, yeah, for a foreign crowd, it's, mm. it, it, you don't really get the message. Like, you can tell it's about mm. mothers, but not more. Like, yeah. this is like the Merci yeah. effect for mm. Oh. Where, it, yeah, yeah the uh, that was a beautiful nice. song. The music sounds yeah. nice, but there's, like, this repetition that you can't really make sense of. Unless you understand the lyrics, and yeah, you, you I can enjoy was it. I able to not. understand that one, and I, I, I liked it even more as a result. But I can mm -hmm. see how someone who doesn't understand French, at least, I mean, yeah, I can understand French rudimentarily. But you know, like it does get kind of repetitive, or like, and same with this song. I, I, I can definitely recognize how the repetition can be off-putting if you don't know what um, they're trying to say. But it does also emphasize it, I think, and I think most of us know what "mama" means. So I'm hoping that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, well, that's about as uni as universal as it gets with words. Yeah. So I'm I'm not sure about how this would do in Eurovision, mm -hmm. but like I still think it's a good song with a great message. Yeah. It, what a fantastic message! And yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like you know, there's no music video to this, but you can definitely hear the emotion in her voice, and that that's mm -hmm. something really special. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like the song, but 
but I was confused before I knew what it was about. Like, right, yeah. What's, what are you saying? I don't know. Exactly. Except for Mount Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was part one of our reactions to Santi's top few Bedidorm songs. Uh, don't go away because yes. part two is coming out. Yep. Um, so I'm going to record that like right after, but probably take a little quick break and reconvene. Yep. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you at part two very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>